It's Tom Green Live! Live from Los Angeles! Tonight's special guest, the Trailer Park Boys. And we are live. You are watching the Tom Green Live Show. Is that what it's called? The Tom Green Live Show? It's called the Tom Green Live, not the Tom Green Live Show. Tom Green Live. And uh, I couldn't be happier than to have these four gentlemen uh, on the show today. Not only are they hilarious and from my native Canada, but more importantly, they performing, they've been performing together for many, many years, well over a decade, uh, spending practically every day together, uh, probably too much time together, uh, yet they're still good friends. And over the years, they've stayed a group. They've had a hit television show that's run for 13 years. They've made multiple movies together. They've created their own brand, The Trailer Park Boys. And they've built a comedy empire. Look for their new movie, SwearNet, and their Netflix series, The Trailer Park Boys, season eight, available now. Please welcome The Trailer Park Boys. How are you guys doing? Great, Awesome, John. Yeah. great. Hey, How's great. good to be here. Let's, Cheers. And, and we are so excited to have uh, you here. Cheers. Did, did you just Cheers. get in from Canada? We uh, did. Yes, we did. Yeah, absolutely. Long flight, a lot of drinking on the plane. Absolutely, and I, I, I'd like to point out that we are not drinking Bloody Marys. No. no. We, we are, are drinking not. Caesars. 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 Made what? with Clamato juice instead of tomato juice. That's right. Wonderful, mm -hmm. great Canadian drink. Especially yeah. when you're hungover. Uh, a Clamato juice is like a clam juice. It is. A clam tomato based juice mm -hmm. Which is that odd. they use to make Bloody Marys with in Canada. Why do Canadians do things differently like that, do you think? Why are we weird like that? That we gotta put clam juice in our Bloody Marys? <laughs> That's a really good question. I'd like to know who the first person that came up with that idea was. I'd like to know the first person that juiced a clam. You know Why what would happened? you do that? What, how do you get the juice out of the clam? Do you, do you milk it? Yeah, you have to milk you the clam. Milk I think you so. You milk the juice right out of the clam. Okay, I, let, let, let's, 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 let's get right into it. I wanna talk to you guys about this amazing uh, thing that you've done with your lives. This is really uh, incredible. We've got clips today from the Trailer Park Boys. Awesome. How did the Trailer Park Boys start? How did it actually start? Man, it started back in 1999 yeah. uh, with Mike Lamberg. We did a black and white movie uh, for the film festival, Trailer Park Boys. And uh, we just uh, I went in the film festival. We had a great reaction. Then we pitched it up in Toronto and uh, showcased, grabbed it and said, okay, let's shoot a series. And you guys are all buddies now, real friends in real life, or do you not really no, like not each really. other? Yeah. Outside of work? No, no we yeah. hate each other, it's yeah. outside of work. Yeah. yeah. J.P. Tremblay, Rob Wells, Mike Smith, by the way, introduce you all. Let's, let's, let's get that on, on camera here. J.P. Tremblay, Rob Wells, Mike Smith. Bubbles is, is not here today. He's not here today. He's in town, but he's just not here today. Let's have, let's have a look at a clip from the Trailer Park Boys. Uh, and uh, let's have a look at a clip. So let's have a, a quick look. Look, I need a minute here. I'm sorry. I'll swear and everything. Sorry to interrupt, but I just had one of those brain learning things pop in my head that wasn't there a second ago. And it's about time to think of me around that basically, what is Christmas? You know, I just got out of jail, which was awesome. You know, in jail, we don't have presents and lights and trees. We just get stoned and drunk. And it's the best time. You know, I get out here and I'm all stressed out. My girlfriend breaks up with me. And, I mean, that's not what Christmas should be. You should be getting drunk and stoned with your friends and family, people that you love. It's a lot of, of uh, it's important to get drunk and stoned. With your friends and with family. With your friends with your and family. family. Definitely. It's, it's a great message. It really what, is. Was the Trailer Park Boys one of like the first mockumentary series on television? You know, like The Office does it now. Was it the first one that was doing that? I don't it's know. the first series I, I remember. There's a lot of films. But. Like the camera's part of it, right? Yeah, for sure. I mean, the original conceit was that, you know, Julian hired a camera crew to follow him around to document his life because a psychic told him he was going to die in a few days. That's from the original movie. Yeah. So it was always the conceit that, you know, this doc camera crew was, it's kind of like cops, but the cameras follow the criminals around instead of following the police around. Nice. Okay, well, look, we, we're going to take some Skype calls. Do we have a Skype nice. call queued up? No, we don't? Really? Oh. That's fantastic. Oh. How come? Because we we have we we want to take some Skype calls. You know why? Because yeah. nobody wants to talk to us. <laughs> no no no. We have we have people we, we have people calling in. Um, okay. Well, let's let's take a Skype call. Let's just take one. 
We got, yeah. We've got Let's take Eric. Yeah, we, we got him. We've got Eric. We've yeah. got him. Turn Let's on take your, one. Turn Let's on your camera, one. Eric. Yeah. Let's take a Skyper. We there there we go. There he is. Hey, you're on the air with the Trailer Park Boys. Uh, what's your name, sir? My name is Eric, sir. Yeah, go, go ahead, Eric, with your question. Oh, I was just curious uh, what was going on with the network in the fall now that the movie's out. And of course, Friday, Big Party. So uh, I was just curious what's coming up, what's planned for uh, the winter, and uh, looking forward to it, whatever it is. Awesome. Um, uh, we can answer that question, but I have to ask you a question first. How fucked are you right now? <laughs> I'm getting there. Seven. Seven's pretty good. Seven's not Seven's bad. Not Did bad. you hear his question? I didn't really hear what his question was. It was um, basically just what's going on, I think. Yeah. What, what are we up to? What a great question. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much for your call. I'm glad we like did a pre-interview with you and had a producer speak with you beforehand, because that was a really great question. Thank you. <laughs> let me let me just reiterate it. What's going on? <laughs> Season eight. Season eight's coming Netflix. out. Season nine's actually coming out after Christmas. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, um, hopefully we'll shoot season ten and eleven next year. Yeah. Oh. I guess that's what's going on. Okay, cool. We have another caller on Skype. Andrew from Vancouver. What's your question for the Trailer Park Boys? Hey, guys. Big fan. I've uh, been watching for years. Uh, I saw Swearnet last night. Nice. So my question is, is that really Patch, Pat Roach's dong, or is that some sort of makeup artistry? <laughs> So of all the things you could ask us, <laughs> you want to know about Pat's cock. Yeah. I had a lot of questions. That's the one That's the one I was asked that, to, to, to ask. It's a question so, on everybody's minds. It is a yeah. big question, and the whole world is wondering the same thing. Is that, and yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> There's a lot of, we're, we're going to talk about Swearnet later in the show. It's your new movie that's coming out. I'm in the new movie. You are yes. in the new movie. How did I end up in the movie? You just... I'm, I, just, I'm in the movie. You are in the movie, and yep. you're very funny in the movie. You yeah. beat the piss out of me in the movie, actually. Yeah, we had a big fight scene. The premiere is tonight. We're going to have a great night tonight. Let's talk a bit more about Swearnet. When we come back, we're going to take a quick commercial break. we got a lot more happening today on the show, live with the Trailer Park Boys, taking your calls. Stick around. We're back with J.P. Tremblay, Rob Wells, Mike Smith, the Trailer Park Boys. We're here. We're live on Access TV. We're eating cheese. We're drinking uh, Canadian Bloody Marys, Caesars. Yes. Uh, when, when, the sh when the show started in Canada, uh, I, don't, I don't normally talk this loud, by the way, do I? I was going to ask. Yeah. 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 I like loud. it, though. It's yeah. very aggressive. I don't clear. normally talk this loud. <laughs> Even on the show, actually. Today, I just for some reason, I feel like talking loud because you guys are here. I like it. Yeah. Like, like, I can it, hear you so clear. Because we like, we like party a lot, right? We, don't we have, do. We go to parties and stuff. We do go Lots to parties. We've yeah? been known to do that. When yes. was the first time we met? At the Montreal Comedy Festival? Just for Laughs Comedy Festival. Just for yes, Laughs Comedy Festival yeah. in Montreal. Yeah. I'd... Basically, you know, since the show premiered, I've been a huge fan. We met each other there. We started doing shots of uh, Jameson, probably. And Noel probably. Fielding was with Noel us. Fielding, yeah, yes. from the Mighty Boosh. Remember Noel? Y yeah. Crazy. And you, you molested Tom. That no, night. I didn't. I don't think that was that night. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I don't. I don't remember that part either. But uh, no. so, so when, when, but the thing, what is it? What is it about being Canadian? When you're Canadian and you have a TV show in Canada and it becomes a sort of legendary thing, what, what is it that that is different about that? I guess. I don't know. Um, One thing that's different is that you're not rich. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody probably, assumes that you're. A yeah, like multi gazillionaire. That's probably the biggest difference. Everybody assumes because you're on TV in Canada. Everybody in Canada assumes you're rich, but because you guys, we we went out to Harvey's, which is the Canadian version <laughs> yeah. of yeah. Uh, Burger King, yes. basically. And uh, when we were shooting Swearnet, and uh, you know, we couldn't walk like ten feet without you guys just getting mobbed everywhere up there in Canada. Was there a point when the show started on television? where you started looking at each other and going, whoa, something's going on here, this is weird. Yeah, it took a few years, a few seasons, but yeah. Three seasons. It was three seasons in, it started to get a little nuts. Yeah. We actually went on tour with Our Lady Peace and uh, across Canada, that was the first time we realized that, wow, this is getting a little out of hand. Our Lady Peace, huge Canadian rock band. Yeah, yeah. Finger Eleven, Seether actually was on the tour. It was 
It's quite a time. And you've toured with Guns N' Roses? Yes. Not all together? Just, just you went? Just we me. Did, we did a few shows, but you did a ton of shows. Yeah, I went on on tour with, with them. Um, I became friends with Axel, awesome guy, and he just took me around the world, like traveled on his jet, and I every night I would play a song with the band. We would do, like, at the end of the night, I'd come out and Bubbles would play. Liquor and whores with Axel. So wait a minute. So you just became friends with Axel Rose? Yeah, I just I met him actually through Sebastian Bach, uh -huh. who you've had. I think was he on? Yeah, yeah he was yeah. on the show here. Yeah. Yeah, I met him through him, and uh, yeah, we just you know we just hit it off. He's a cool guy, and we. Was just, there any partying going on? Or? There was, <laughs> maybe a bit. Yeah. What's that like hanging out with Axel Rose? What's he actually like? He's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. He's not at all what the you know the. The press, you know, he's not like the press makes him out to be. He's actually really awesome guy, down to earth. Very funny, very funny guy. Very cool. quiet. I love him. Cool. Okay, well, we are taking lots of calls tonight. We are live on Access TV. We have Kazzy in Vancouver. Kazzy, what's your question for the Trailer Park Boys? Hey, guys. The question's mostly for Bubbles. And it's about Rush, the greatest band of all time. Nice call. I was wondering, is it actually your favorite band, or was that just sort of something you put on for the show? No, Rush are, Rush are up there. They'd, they'd be in my top three of all time. Definitely. For sure. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for the Rush question. What now? You, you, what is it about Rush that is so great about Rush? That you, I mean, I, we, we all love Rush in Canada, but what is it that is... Well, I'm a, I've played guitar since I was five, probably. I started playing guitar, and growing up, I was just, you know, Rush where Alex was the guy, you know. He was the Canadian the worldwide uh, you know guitar guy that just that's who you want it to be if it was so hard to play rush songs when you're a kid easier now with the internet you can look it up and it shows you how to do it but when I was a kid there was no you know you just had to listen to it and figure it out so but talent wise yeah I mean the three of them are just incredible they're a trio and they sound like a five-piece band or a seven-piece band <laughs> I want to ask like about how this empire that you guys have built works okay uh, I mean, how, how is it that you made so much, there's been such a huge output of comedy? How many episodes of Trailer Park Boys have there been? Is, is, there's, a, there's a movie every six months comes out, right? <laughs> there's a network now, a television network called SwearNet on the internet. Uh, you can go on the internet and check out SwearNet, which you have uh, uh, videos and shows available. Yeah, and what it's actually going, like the three of us, uh recently bought trailer we own the trailer park boys franchise now we own the whole thing so we can do whatever we want with it so swearnet is an online all swearing network and the sort of what we're about to do is like the flagship part of that is trailer park boys the the seasons go up on netflix but on swearnet you will see uh, web series happening in between the seasons to stitch everything together. This is an all swearing network here as well. Awesome. Nice. Access TV. Fucking it's fantastic. an all swearing network. Actually, we had a game we wanted to play. I don't know. I want to put you guys on the spot, but uh, I thought maybe we could count how many swear words you guys could come up with if you went sort of individually and, and we could count. Like, if sure. you, you, you want to start, JP? Cocksucker. There we go. One. Fuck blaster. Okay. Shit clock. Can I see? Yeah, because we can swear on the network. So we're at three. Okay. Oh, That's there we my go. favorite. Going for it. Yeah. Okay. We'll probably, just... we'll probably beat that one. I'll uh, probably beat. <laughs> <laughs> we can't swear on the network, but we may beat beat that one. Uh, okay. Uh, shit inhaler. Okay. Shit inhaler. <laughs> now is shit inhaler or uh, is, uh, is that or is it just shit? Can we take shit inhaler, or take shit inhaler? Okay. Because we could go on a lot, we could add a lot of derivatives of shit, I'm sure, and be here all day. Uh, yeah, good point. Cock pincher. See, yeah, okay, so all right. Like the cock. Yeah. Okay, all right, well, I, I think that does a successful game. Yeah. <laughs> what did we win? Did we win anything? Yeah, you, you, win, you win the fun of playing. Yeah. Okay. No. Okay, well, th this is going to be uh, a lot of fun. We have some surprises coming up in the show. We're drinking Caesars. We've got more calls. We're eating cheese. We haven't even eaten the cheese yet. We're live on Axis TV. Stick around. We'll be back after the break eating cheese with oh, the Trailer Park go. Boys. Stay Go tuned. Back.
And we're back with the Trailer Park Boys, spending the hour here on Access TV, taking your calls. You guys having fun? Awesome. We are having awesome, fun. Man. Have you tried the cheese yet? I'm just going in now. The blueberry yeah. cheese, this, whatever this is, is quite nice. Yeah, absolutely. Isn't well, that good? It's very that. different. You want to look at a clip? Want to look at a clip from the from the show? And Let's maybe you can talk Let's about it, it and tell us Let's what we're it. looking at. Let's look at a, a clip from the Trailer Park Boys. Anyone else want anything while I'm down there? Yeah, pick me up a bag of jalapeno chips. All right. Jalapeno? What flavor is that? Ricky, Jay's silent. You're saying it wrong. The Jay's like an H, Ricky. Jalapeno, not jalapeno. What in the fuck are you guys talking about? Jalapeno. That's how you pronounce it. I know how to pronounce it. I ordered fucking jalapeno. Wow, that was so, a few years back. Yeah. How many years that? ago was that? That's 14 years ago. Yeah. No. No, man. Yeah. 13, anyway. 13 years ago. Think, yeah. So what's, like, what, what's that like, 13 years ago? You, have you guys ever had anything, you know, issues amongst the group? Have you, 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 you've, how do you keep this thing going? How do you keep this friendship going? Liquor. Yeah, liquor. And liquor. <laughs> <laughs> Laughter. We're at, for, most, for the most part, we're having fun, and I guess that's, that's the secret. If you're having fun, then... Yeah, know. we're having more fun now than we've ever had. Believe it or not, that is true. But if we're not having fun doing something, we're just cranky assholes. Well, you yeah. are. Well, yeah, I am, big time. Yeah. You sort of are you surprised by, you know, things like Netflix and YouTube and all these new outlets for this kind of comedy that didn't exist back then? I mean, it's sort Absolutely. of Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. No, Netflix is great. We have the freedom just to pretty much do what we want. The episodes can come in at any length instead of 22 minutes like a regular television network so it's just a lot of freedom and yeah like when we were on the the TV network before in Canada you know you would write scripts send them up people in suits that aren't funny would edit it and say here this is funnier and you're like what but with Netflix it's just like they're just like send it to us when you're done is that always an issue with comedy where you have sort of an executive at a network who comes in and kind of gets their fingers in it that's been our experience i think yeah. it definitely can be for sure yeah yeah has there, has there been issues like that that have been like serious issues where you've really like we're tired of it and that's why you're starting swearing it big time absolutely yeah. like in the movie swearing at there's a scene in a boardroom where we're negotiating with the network about a new show and uh we're trying to trade swear words with them and stuff and that was all based on a real thing that happened that's verbatim network. yeah it was pretty much word for word why does that happen do you think why do n television network executives do that they find some hilarious show and hilarious guys give them the show and then kind of come in and try to control it I don't know I, I don't think know it's, uh, I don't know just regulations and censorship we're not big fans so that's why we started our we've own got, internet site we've got a clip from uh, the uh, trailer for your new Netflix series uh, we can look at did you guys actually? Yeah, here we let's look at the, let's look at the Get show. Get this fucking thing lit up! Turn my trailer into a hockey rink. Let's make some money. I like your things, there. Easy. Fuck! You are a certified genius. Can I get a Zaya? Yeah. One, two, three, three, two. Fuck! It's cool how you see like the technology change in the cameras and stuff. Yeah, absolutely. you know, isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Like the we, first, the first season seemed like it was just more video, and this looks more filmic. Am I right? Right when I say that? Oh yeah, 100%. for sure. Yeah. The first camera, like 13 years ago, I think it was a pretty cutting edge camera at the time. But I mean, we just went back and looked at the footage, and the native, it was like really, really small yeah. image, you know. Yeah, like it was, it was mini a, DV. What was it? Seven or four eighty or something. Yeah, was four eighty. Plus, the that. show kind of got hammered because it looked like shit. Like people just weren't used to seeing such a shitty quality TV show. Really? The look of it, yeah. Yeah. But now it's a cool thing. I like the shitty old. Yeah, so do I. I totally like the shitty look. Yeah, because it just makes it seem more real when it looks shitty. Or exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> makes it feel more doc style when it's like shitty. Like cops, like the show Cops. Yeah. Right. So make a note. We need to shitty up the show. Already on a match. You ever worry that the, good. you ever worry that the new shows just don't look shitty enough? Like maybe you're getting yeah. too good at what you do. Sometimes, yeah. We, I sometimes, sometimes, yeah, we think, talked yeah. about that. We were like, we got to shitty it up a bit. It's for still season a dog feel. But yeah, it does look pretty clean. Yeah, too yeah. clean. It looks like. But I mean, with the conceit now that Swearnet owns Trailer Park Boys and they're the ones with the cameras, maybe they have nicer cameras. Yeah, maybe, maybe Mike. You know, maybe. I just got to point out, I ate a piece of this, and it's turned my gum to mush. 
Really? Yeah, my gum has no. Why it's would just you eat that? cheese? You're, you're mushrooms. eating bubble gum. Well, just at the like same time gum. as you're eating the cheese. Yeah, and it's that's probably really, not a good idea though. Going man. horribly yeah, wrong. Hey, we have Drake from Nevada on the air. Drake, All go right, ahead Drake. with your question for the Trailer Park Boys. What's up, guys, What's going comedian on, Drake? Drake Nelson from Reno, Nevada. I'm a huge fan of you guys. Hey, listen, sorry about this. Uh, I'm at work right now. Those are my coworkers back there. Say hi, guys. We love you, Doctor. Yeah. Yeah, anyway, if on? you guys had your phone hacked, would there be anything on there, and would you want that released to the internet? Uh, <laughs> that's a good question for Mike Smith. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've got nothing. I my phone could get hacked; wouldn't matter. Yeah. Really? Well, yeah. I wasn't it's expecting amazing. that answer. Well, yeah. <laughs> same with me. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's embarrassing, but yeah, same here. Nothing you haven't put out there already. No, that's right. Yeah. Okay, we have another caller here uh, from California, Gina. Hi guys. How's it going? Hey, Gina, hey, Gina, Gina, are you drinking? How are you? Are, are you at the rock and roll highest? Yeah, I am. I, I guess that's it. what. Yeah, I am. We've are you drinking? Many times. You're drinking right now, aren't you? I was. I was. I knew it. I <laughs> am. Wait, I look like I'm in jail. Let me go uh, to my room. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. That sounds like a good idea. <laughs> yeah, that, that sounds cool. Being yeah, that's great. Let's watch you go to your room. <laughs> hey, it's right here. So, um, yeah, you guys are awesome, and I love how you're in take on life and everything. But uh, my question to you is, well, what's what was your first joke you ever heard? Your that your first dirty joke? First dirty joke I ever heard? I can't remember anything past five minutes ago, let alone years ago. I don't know. What are you drinking there, Gina, and what time did you start? <laughs> what what did you say? I said, what are you drinking there, Gina, and what time did you start drinking this morning? Oh, uh, I just started. Uh, Jack Daniels. Nice. Yeah, good choice. Yeah, yeah. Urban. Good. Very good. Like, yeah, look at just started. That looked pretty empty. You're pretty, uh, you're pretty tipsy right now, are you, Gina? Or? No, I'm, I'm okay. I'm just a little nervous. Because, yeah. guys, uh, I love your point of views, and you guys are just different from... The normal, and you're more original, and I that just makes me inspired and a little nervous. Oh it's hard. You need to find your light. Get in front. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Well, it's uh, it was great talking to you, Gina. We appreciate it. Um, very, always very uh, nice to uh, meet new people, and uh, <laughs> thanks for calling into the show today. Yes. We've got the Trailer Park Boys here with us. We're going to take a quick commercial break, and we'll be back. Stick around. We'll be right back with more of your calls, more cheese, more Canadian Bloody Marys. Stay tuned. And we're back with the Trailer Park Boys. We are live on Access TV. This, it's fun live television, isn't it? It's very it's, fun. It yeah. is fun. You, you say something, you can't take it back sometimes. No, you know? and like I could pinch him and hurt him. Jesus yeah. Christ. See that? Yeah. See? Okay. We got Brian in Texas. <laughs> Brian? Wow. Oh, that's just charming. <laughs> what? Is that what we're... We don't... We need to see. Hi, Brian. How are you? Okay. Yeah. Hi, Brian. How you doing? Hello. Hi. Hang on one second. Just, oh. Let me just get by. Uh-oh. Oh, he's uh -oh. a comedian. It's comedy hour with Brian in Texas. Oh, thank you. There you go, Brian. Hey, no, that's good, though. We appreciate hey, it. Seriously, trailer Park Boys, uh, you guys, I think you're hilarious. My dad was born in Win Winnipeg, Manitoba. He was born and raised up there. Oh, that's where this comes cool. from. Nice. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Crazy and uh, well, why do you guys, uh, why do you think the show's so popular? What, what do you count that to? I think everybody knows people like Ricky Julian and Bubbles. Everybody's everybody that comes up to us like, hey, there's a guy that I grew up oh. with that was just like Bubbles and the thick glasses, or was dumb like Ricky. And the I show, I mean, despite all the guns and swearing and drugs, it does have a lot of heart too. When you strip it all away, that's what it comes it down to. It's like the Cosby Show. Friendship. How much Love. are you guys like your actual characters in the show? Is there is there is, is there a crossover? With liquor? Yeah. Yeah, there is. <laughs> <laughs> On Trailer Park Boys, you mean? Yeah. You're exactly the exact same. I'm <laughs> fairly similar to Bubbles. Um, I like a lot of the things Bubbles does. Cats and rockets and space, things like that. There's a lot of guns on the show, but is there actual guns in Halifax? There's some there's there's quite there's, a few it's these a pretty days, rough yeah. town, isn't it, it can for be. Canada? Yeah. It can be, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, times. A, it's an awesome city. Um, it's not too big, not too small, but there, yeah, there's... There's some rough 
parts, so unfortunately. The, the movie that's premiering, SwearNet, premiering tonight. Yes. We're going to the premiere tonight. Yes. Mm -hmm. You guys are going on Jimmy Kimmel today too, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, all yeah. sorts of stuff going yeah. on. You're down here it's in Los Angeles. Week, You're yeah. launching the movie. Um, it's different than the Trailer Park Boys, though. It is. It is. It is different. It's, it's, the, it's us playing a pretty accurate version of ourselves in our post-Trailer Park Boys lives, fed up with being censored, so we start our own all-swearing network. Okay, let's go look at, we're going to look at a trailer from SwearNet right now. All right. And coming soon to a theater near... That's cool. I was in the trailer. Uh, you're in the yes. trailer a couple yeah. of times. Yeah, Just kicking my ass. Yeah, Thanks. your karate chop made it in there, which yeah. is a great what chop. What the fuck are you guys fucking doing? I'm swearing. I need more liquor, Tom. Oh, Pat, right. Give me some of this fucking cheese. Holy fuck. Oh my god. Yeah. Pat, what's so you know we're on live wait, TV right wait, now. Wait, what's going on here? What's happening? I'm fucking eating cheese and Pat, getting we're drunk. We're on the air right this now, is dummy. Dumbass. You guys said we were getting fucked up. We are. Well, what the hell's happening here? What's going? <laughs> go what the mix, hell's going on? Go mix a drink. All swear, right. Swear, man, have a seat here have with the guys. Have a seat. You're, ah, you're in the you're in the in the, in the film as well. Swear, man, is a what, what is your character in the movie Swearnet? Fuck off, Tom. All right. Okay. I don't got time for this <laughs> shit. He is right. the swear man. Uh, he is the go. mascot uh -huh. of Swearnet. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. And he's got a drinking problem. Uh -huh. he's yeah. Out of control. He's basically his alter ego. When he drinks, he turns into this guy for real. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you can't eat Jesus a block of Christ. cheese. That's Why the fuck can I, man? We're supposed to party. How is the cheese? We didn't get to try that one. This yet. is good shit. It tastes like feet. Are you having a good nice. time here in uh, Hollywood, swear man? I love fucking Hollywood. It's awesome. I just need to get drunk. Why Tom, not? you said hey. there's going to be fucking liquor in the green room. Your yeah. fucking last name's Green, and you don't know what the fuck you're doing. I think we, I think we have liquor in the green room. I'm uh, pretty sure. Tell him what you some. did last night, bud. He jumped into the pool at the Roosevelt Hotel uh -huh. in his suit. Wearing okay. a lot less clothes than he has on now. Yeah. Fuck off. I went swimming. Who gives a fuck? All right, well, let's take a call. Um, Justin in Edmonton, uh, Swear Man is here now with the Trailer Park Boys. What's your question, Justin? What's going on, guys? Thanks for having me on. How are you? Uh, just wondering who your guys' favorite hockey team was growing up, and uh, if you still cheer for them today. Oh, there you go, eh? Growing up, man, I was a, I was an Oilers disciple. I was a Wayne guy. Yeah, Wayne, Paul right. Coffey, Messier, Yari yeah. Curry, that was the yeah. dream team. Yeah. And we since uh, be, we we met Paul Coffey and we're buddies with him, and that's pretty cool. Really? Because he was on the dream team. Do you know him? Do you know Coffey? I've never met Paul Coffey. He's awesome. What about Gretzky? You meet Gretzky? I've not met. I've not. No. Met him. I met his dad a few I'm times. Surprised you guys, I'm surprised yeah. you guys don't like hang out with Gretzky. We'd, We'd love, love to. to. You've yeah. met him, haven't you? you, uh, well, you know very him. briefly. Yeah. Yeah, but no, I, I haven't really met him. Ah, uh, yeah. I was a uh, I was a big a this big fucking oiler. cheese is good, man. This one. Well, yeah. You're... Glad you're enjoying all the cheeses and you've ruined it for everyone else. We, we have an actual clip from SwearNet, a full clip of the yeah. movie. Oh, yeah. The clip that I'm in. Yeah, Excellent. let's do that. Maybe we could look at uh, the clip that I'm in in the movie. Actually, let's look at that clip when we come back after the commercial break. Uh, let's look, that's the beginning of the clip, but let's look at the full clip after the break. Can we do that or is it too late now? Yeah, let's no. look at the full clip after the break. Let's save it. Yeah, let's save yeah. it. We'll save now it's it. just a tease. I really like the clip and I want to save it for after the break. It's sort of like it will, will, and then we can savor it and enjoy it together with our cheese and our and our Bloody Marys, our, our our Caesars. We'll be back in a minute. Stay tuned. More Trailer Park Boys after the break. Let's get some fucking liquor. Mm -hmm. And we're back. We are live on Access TV, just beaming via satellite into homes all across the country. We're here with the Trailer Park Boys, drinking some Bloody Caesars, eating some cheese, talking about SwearNet, your new movie. Uh, now, what, what was it like making the movie? We had fun up there. I was up there for a week or so in Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario, yeah. small town in northern mm -hmm. Ontario. Yeah, had some good meals with you. Yeah. One in particular was very interesting. What? Do you, do you remember what you ordered? What, at uh, dinner? Yeah. We went to dinner, Sebastian Bach was with us. Yeah. And do you remember what you ordered? Uh, it was very, <laughs> there was really no explanation as to okay. why you ordered it. It was what disgusting. Was it? What exactly was it? it Some was, uh, seafood. It started out as a spaghetti, I believe, and uh -huh. then you wanted a, a lobster tail put on top of that. Uh-huh. And with then. 
drizzled with chocolate sauce. With chocolate sauce, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. And they wouldn't, the they, chef they wouldn't make, make it. it. Yeah. He, he refused to assemble it, but he did send out a plate of spaghetti, <laughs> I, I, the lobster tail, and a bowl uh, of drizzled and chocolate. I do you recall that it. now. Yeah, it was a lobster and tail. And it, it was surprisingly bad. I thought really? it was going to be really good. Really? I, I, I remembered it quite differently. I thought it was oh, pretty good, you? actually. <laughs> Maybe it was just because it was my idea, but I, I actually enjoyed it. Okay. Well, hey, we have a clip from the movie. Uh, let's have a look at the clip. Uh, this is, you want to set this clip up? This is the fight clip? This is yeah, you? Yes. So. Yeah. And you beat the shit out of me. I yeah, I want to play this clip because I'm in this clip. Yeah, so oh. in, the, in the clip, you and, you and uh, Carrot Top think you're... Think everybody's in on this. Rob and JP think this is a real fight. Yeah, okay. Let's have a look at Swearnet. Get shooting. I didn't hear him say cut. Fuck yeah, let's do it. Stupid fuck, Doris. There's a fucking race going on. <laughs> yeah, we're winning for fuck's sakes. Tom, I'm a big fan. I don't want to fucking hurt you. Should have had a rehearsal, man. Holy shit, you fucking connected. Oh, the playing is just for real. No. Oh, it's for real, Ginger. Not the hair. Fuck. You want to play Swayze? Let's do it. Fucking pussy. Huh? Ah! You fucker. This is a real fucking fight between Tom Green. Carrot Top, Rob Wells, and John Paul Jolie. This is the kind of shit you'll see on SquareNet.com. Five bucks Fuck a month. You. Come on, motherfucker. Let's see what you got. Oh. Uh, that, that's intense, right? You can fight. You were yeah, a really fight. Now, that did I did I mistakenly punch you for real once, Rob? At, at one point, a couple times there was some connection. There was some there, real yeah. connection. Yeah. Yeah. We we didn't really rehearse that properly, did no, we? No, probably did, not. It just it was just a it was just basically we just went and beat the crap out of each other. It was real blood. Now, what's involved in putting a movie like that together, though? Like, like let's just talk technically about this for a second, because I mean, it, it's it, it's hard to make a movie, isn't it? It is hard to make a movie. There's yeah. a lot of moving parts. There's a lot of people involved, a lot of time, um, but fun. It's like, it's the most fun thing <coughs> you can do, really, is making movies or TV shows. Like you write the script? Yeah. Who yeah. wrote the script? The three we of did. us. You yeah. sit down together and you write yeah, it together? Right, yeah. Yeah. Write it together and, uh, you know, we, um, it's just fun. You know, you write it and then you go to the, you, you write these crazy scenes and then you go to set and the art department has, built the stuff and you get to see it for the first time and it's like better than you imagined and it's just a really fun experience. How many movies is this now? Uh, three Trailer Park Boy movies and a yeah. Swearing Up movie. Four feature films I guess total. Four. Yeah. Did you ever think that you would be making movie after movie after movie like this? No. No. <laughs> no. Definitely, no definitely not. not. Cool. Are well, you going to make, you got to make another movie soon. Yeah? I think so. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So too. Yeah. Well, maybe you could help Swearing me. Too. Maybe you could help me uh, figure out how to do that. You guys seem to know how to do that. Yeah, <laughs> Tyson in Oklahoma, you're on the air. Tyson in Oklahoma, go ahead with your hey, question uh, for the Trailer Park uh, Boys, Tyson. Boys, how's it going, yeah, Tyson? Man. Ask your question. Maybe we could just hang out. No, maybe, no, uh, go ahead and ask yeah. the question. Question? Hey, uh, who is your favorite celebrity of all time that you've worked with, and why? Favorite celebrity of all time that you worked with? <laughs> Definitely not Tom Other Green. Other than Tom Green? He's an asshole. <laughs> we had a blast with Snoop Dogg. That was an interesting night. Snoop Dogg is cool. I, I'd have to say Axel for sure. Axel's awesome. Alex Lifeson? Alex Lifeson. Yeah, it's hard to pick a favorite yeah. celebrity, really, isn't it? We've it's been kinda, very lucky to meet It's kind of rude to pick a favorite celebrity. Yeah, really. I would think so. I'm going yeah. with Tom. Yeah. There's a, quite a few cameos in the new film. 
There is. You, yeah. um, Carrot Top, Top. Yeah. Sebastian Bach mm -hmm. is in there. He's he's worked on a few of our That's things. It. He's yeah. another one of our favorite celebrities of all time. Yeah. Baz. Yeah, he's been here on the show. Okay, we have another caller. Uh, Mike. Mike, you are on the air. Go ahead with your question for the Trailer Park Boys. Is it Matt? I don't know. Whoever the, whoever the hell you are. Just go. <laughs> I can hear you. I can see you. Great, great. Uh, it's Matt in Calgary. Uh, hey, Matt. Thanks, for, uh, thanks for the time, everybody. I'm really excited about the movie. Um, I guess I'm just wondering, obviously, Tom's the funniest on camera of you guys. Uh, who's, who's the funniest off huh? camera? Tom. 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 Still, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, is that really the question? Yeah, well, explain how. Like, give me a joke. What's what's so great off camera joke. that we don't get to see on cam? That's the question, really? <laughs> it, really, that's it? That's all you got? You don't really do jokes. <laughs> I, I love you, Tom. Okay, well, no, I mean, just, I figured you could have a better question than that. I mean, we, you know, Pat Roach you know? with about 15 drinks in him is pretty funny. He's Fuck it. off, bud. No, well, we don't want to be too mean to the guy, all right? right? But. You know, he seemed like a lovely chap. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Do we have another caller with a, another question? That, no? no, no. Okay, well, let's take a commercial. We'll be back. Stick around. One, one act left. We're live on Access TV with the Trailer Park Boys. back with the trailer park boys uh last block the show goes by so fast you know it it's, does uh, go it's, by uh, fast it's, it's really is too bad you know and we, i have to apologize i feel like we've ruined your show now. well no 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 what very, what what it's a very professional show yeah and i feel like we've just ruined it yeah, yeah. no no absolutely why don't you go mix me a drink yeah that's a good fucking idea yeah go mix yeah. me another i'm gonna get some you got yeah. any more liquor talk yeah no you Give guys should ruin too. the show yeah i'll have another one get me all one. right cheers cheers yeah thanks tom cheers Fuck off! Yeah, everybody. Yeah, it's not very nice, swear man. I swear, man. <laughs> this is what we have to deal with him on a daily basis. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's not acting. He gets this drunk, getting and drunk, he, jumping in pools. He gets fired up. He ate a block of cheese. I have some questions for you guys. I have some questions. I'm Fire away. Let's okay. do this. How much of a typical Trailer Park Boys episode would you say is scripted versus improvised? Everything's fully scripted. We uh, once we get a take. You know, in the can, I guess, then we'll mess around and improvise. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But a lot of the stuff that actually makes it to air is, in fact, improvised. Yeah, we improvise. Based on the script. Yeah, based, based on, on the, script. the script. We never just go in and just make shit up off the, you know, off well, the. Well, we have. So we have. We've <laughs> done that. <laughs> shot an entire episode in one day. Improv based away, on the, the script. other script away and just shot. Yeah, sometimes straight. it's not working when you get it up on its feet. It just. You, we'll, we'll, we'll rewrite it on the day. So. Is there something. Uh, what is it about Canadians that make them. Why are there so many Canadian Canadian comedians? Do you think? I don't know. We've been asked that before, and I don't know the okay. answer. I think it's because it's such an easygoing country, and a lot of people drink a lot and do other things a lot, and it that breeds humor. Yeah, I guess good I sense know. of humor for sure. Kitchen parties, maybe. Do you think the song "Liquor and Whores" will ever replace "Oh Canada" as the Canadian national anthem? <laughs> <laughs> I have to say I don't think it will. I wish it would, but I don't think that will actually It's a very happen. patriotic song. It is. It is. Okay, it that's is. the last of my pre-prepared questions. Uh, Mike in Moncton. Mike in Moncton, you're on the air with the Trailer Park Boys. Hey, how you doing, guys? What's going hey, on, Mike? Mike in Moncton? Hey. Uh, so what was your guys' uh, uh, favorite episode of the show? Good question, Mike. Very good Mike question. actually has a coherent question. I yeah. like the episode where we kidnapped Alex Lifeson. I thought that was a fun one. Yeah. That's because I'm from the East Coast, that's why, right? Exactly. That's right. There's also the, the <laughs> steal and the barbecue episode. That that was pretty funny, I thought. Wait, now Ellen Page was on the show in one of the early seasons, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. She was. Went on to great awesome. success in the movie Juno, a huge Hollywood smash. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Big time actress. Yeah, she was amazing. When she, she was on the Trailer Park Boys, were you able to identify some sort of star quality in her that made you think? This girl's going places. We definitely weren't surprised at all. Yeah, she was yeah. incredible right from the the get go. Yeah. yeah. And if she, you know, called you up after everything like exploded for her, and you know, brought you into the into the Hollywood we haven't mix. We talk to her a lot, but I, Not a whole lot. I think she's coming tonight. I, heard. I think she is. That would yeah. be amazing. Yeah, she's on the. We list. haven't talked to her a whole lot, but uh, I mean, obviously, she's incredibly busy and lives down here. It's not like you know, 
but uh, I, I heard she's coming to the premiere tonight, which would be great. That's pretty exciting. Okay, good. Matthew in Quebec, you're on the air with the Trailer Park Boys. All right. All right, guys, gentlemen, how are you? Good, how are you? All right, man, I just have a quick question for you guys. Um, what's more difficult, uh, writing a movie uh, for the Trailer Park Boys or uh, a whole season for, for that? Another good question. Very good question. Mm -hmm. Questions are starting to get real now. It's yeah. not that far off. I mean, a season's just a bit longer than a feature movie. I guess a movie would probably be shorter and a little bit easier than a full season, I guess. What, so so the movie's harder to make? No, to it's write, I would say it's harder to write, to write a whole season because yeah. you're talking, you know, we usually do, what, 10, ten episodes, episodes, 25 minutes each year, 250 minutes versus 90 yeah. minutes. There's just physically more materials. So you guys are in jail a lot in the show? Mm -hmm. Fair bit. Have yeah. you ever been in jail? Drunk tank. For real, yeah? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Drunk tank. A few times. Yeah. Never in jail, jail. No. 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 Not yet. Never no. prison. No. No. Never in no. the... In no, the... we're not hardened criminals. No. No. But, but what do you think of the legalization of marijuana, big theme in, in the show? What do you think about that? Is that a good thing for society? I think it is. Yeah? Yeah, I totally so I. think it is. I think it, you know, I think it's actually ridiculous that it's so outlawed. It's kind of yeah. like overlooked in Canada, isn't it? It's yeah. a lot, it's a lot uh, more lenient, I think. Than, it is now, yeah. Than, I mean, than parts of the U.S. Parts of the U.S., it's completely yeah, it's legal. wide open. Here's some photos from the... Uh, from the, the set. Uh, maybe you can tell us what we're looking at here as we look through some photos. Uh, in this scene, the guy on the ground there uh, accidentally dosed Rob and JP with LSD, and they're shooting a cooking show called Acid Cannibals. They're trying to cook Pat alive and eat him while they're on acid. Yeah, we okay. marinated him, and we were going to cook him up. Just here we are. Yeah, just, let's just narrate these photos as we walk it's just a, through. That's, that's just a race car. Three dicks standing next to a race car. <laughs> that was used in the movie. That's us doing our first uh, news broadcast for Swearing at News. <laughs> a really nice set we so, constructed. So this is a, a photo from the actual network. That's or, from the movie. From the movie. Yeah, okay. That's from the movie. But, but the actual looks network like is much like this. <laughs> it yeah. is much like yeah. this. When, when, like when people go to swearnet.com right now, what's there? Right now, um, there's, uh, we, we shoot a, a couple of different little series. One's called The Real Fucking Reality Show. Yeah. Because reality shows are so scripted, we just roll cameras on, you know. Just, just us, you know, getting the network going and everything going on behind the scenes. Yeah, like right now it's in its infancy and you can go there and sort of watch the, you know, watch the thing grow. But we're, it, we just bought a new building, a new studio. We're going to have a, our own studios now, like you have. It won't be this nice. But. No, <laughs> but it, it, it's going to be, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> now, and, and, and the, the network, like, do you, 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 there's a pay service, you pay to watch some of the clips, what, like, what went into the decision to do that, like, that's, it's sort of a, is that controversial to charge people, or is it, or do people like that, or? No, I think it's, I think it's gonna be fun, like, it's, I mean, not to compare us to Netflix, but it's the idea of, you know, we, we want to build this into a real, you know, yeah. a, a real functioning Just everything network. everything you find, a regular network you find there, like, news, weather, sports, everything, could be a cooking show, could be anything. But everybody on every show swears. Like if we have, if we do a home reno show, rather than watching, you know, fix my house or whatever, we'll, our show will be called My House Is Fucked. And you go there, and you know, <laughs> every show, you know, you're allowed to swear whether it's. Wait, a, what's the the home reno show is going to be called? What? My house is fucked. That sounds like a good show. Right? I'd, I'd watch it's that. Based, it's based on his house, actually. Yeah, it's actually based on my house, which which is, is fucked. Is fucked. Why? What happened to your house? Uh, I bought a house that. Uh, it was basically needed to be bulldozed. I thought it was completely fine, but it was rotted to the point where it was about to collapse, so I had to bulldoze it and just was out the money. Okay, cool. Let's Shitty. see if we can get another Skype call, if, if, if you can. Um, but uh, we, I like to take the Skype calls. It's fun taking them. Yeah. Let's see if we can get another one. Yeah. It's they fun are because, fun. Yeah, you never know who you're yeah, going to hook into. Fun. Yeah, I would see if we can get just one more before the show ends, you know, because right. it's, it's a fun thing. They're done? What do you mean they're done? How come? They're, they're, what happened to done. them? Where'd they go? There's trap. Where did they go? Transmission issues. What? Transmission issues? Oh, what? Do you guys ever have issues. transmission issues? All the yeah. time? Unfortunately, we, yes. Yeah, there's a worker, that, well, Chipper, he's our guy, and he's always screwing up. Yeah. yeah. Is that like yeah. a big part of it? Like when you make an internet network, you'd think that must be kind of difficult, like just the technical aspect of it, right? You're like you're actually building an entire network. It's not just the content, but the streaming, all that stuff. Do yeah, we're you know we're just sort of figuring out it, figuring it out as we go. But it, definitely some challenges. Yeah, like yeah. who does that? Do you do that? Us. 
Yeah. yeah. Us and yeah, a couple of Chipper, people that work. Pat Roach. Us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Jeremy. So you guys actually actively do all that stuff yourself, or? Yes, yeah, we, we do. do pretty much everything. Like we go in there and, you know, the old sets and shit if we have to. So we have a minute left. Uh, what are we? What do you want to like? What do we want to do for the last minute here? I mean, this is this is it. We got a minute here. You know, I mean, I, I don't want it to end, but you know, I just want to let you know we only have like 30 seconds left here oh, or something man. like that. What are we gonna do for 30 Look, seconds? Look, I just I, I just want to say thank you guys so much for coming to the show. Thanks let, for having us. Thanks I, for I could us. I could just thank you for the last 30 seconds you for being here. Thank you for the Jesus. Apologize yeah. Again for ruining your show. No, this yeah. has been so great. It's just so great to have you. We're gonna have a fun time tonight at the SwearNet premiere here with the legendary Trailer Park Boys. It's been such a pleasure to have you guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Always man. great to see you guys. Thank Cheers. you. Good night, everybody. Have we'll rest. see you next week. Good night. <laughs>